What's up everyone, it's Rifle here and thanks for checking out this video. In this one I got you guys a bunch of unreleased emblems. I'm not exactly sure when these are supposed to come, but I have to say, some of these look freaking awesome. My guess is these will probably be in the game sometime in the near future. I haven't seen any of these in the game, so it's pretty crazy. Anyways, if you guys end up enjoying this, consider leaving a like, it's greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get this up past a thousand likes, that'd be awesome to see. And also, if you guys want, feel free to check out my new Facebook page, it's called The Gaming Outlet. It's just another community I have outside of YouTube because, well, I haven't really started a community outside of YouTube. Alright, so for this first one I got for y'all, it's called Glory of the Elite. And as you guys can see, this looks similar to the bounties that you get from Zavala. Maybe it has something to do with him. I don't really know. Here's a real mysterious one. Maybe this was cut from the game or something. But as you can see, it's called Raid Emblem. And it looks like Crota's head over there being stabbed with a sword. But acquired by unknown vendor. It's sold by unknown, you know. Everything is unknown about this emblem. Maybe it was just cut from the game. Who actually knows? They could have just decided to go with the other Crota emblem instead of this one. Anyways, up next I got you guys Archer's Hope. Once again, this looks pretty cool. Not exactly sure how we're going to be getting this. Probably something to do with the hunter, though, seeming that it is Archer's Hope. This next one is called Hexacon 4. I'm going to try to get through these pretty fast because there's a lot here I got to show you. And I don't want this video to just drag on of me just showing you these emblems. I mean, you guys get the point. You see them. It's pretty straightforward. So, anyways, for this next one, it's called Anchor's End. I really like the look of this. I like the simplicity to it. Here is Summer Song. This one also looks freaking awesome. Barrel commentary, and I have to say, this looks really great. I'm sad that these aren't in the game. I wonder why they're waiting to release these. Um, this next one's called Lost and Boundaries, for you that prefer green and yellow. Up next, this one is called Exo Moon. And as you can see, there's like a moon in the emblem. It's subtly there, I like that. But let's speed this up a bit. Frames of Mind, Sunset City, Sign of the Ancients, Sign of the Protectorate, Scholar's Quest, City Force, Mentor's Badge, Tip of the Spear, The Convergence. Here's a racing emblem called Off to the Races. Once again, this could have been just cut content right here. Maybe they just preferred the other racing emblems rather than this one, but who knows? It really wouldn't have hurt them to add this in, so it doesn't really make sense for it to be cut content. Unless they just thought, hey, you know what? This is just waste of an emblem. Let's not add it. And lastly, I got you guys, World Domination. There's also a few Sparrow emblems, and people are having a hard time getting them. Apparently, you can get different kind of Sparrow emblems from the different Sparrow maps. And I did a little bit of research. They seem to be extremely rare, but apparently you get Martius Momentum from Campus Martius, Blessing of Momentum from Infinite Descent, Mercy of Motion from Hakan Precipice, and lastly, Crest of Velocity from Shining Sands. And I'm not sure about this one. To be honest with you guys, I don't really Sparrow Race much. So yeah, this is just brief info for the people that do Sparrow Race. Apparently, these emblems are really rare and exclusive to the maps. Anyways, thanks for watching and listening, everybody. Hope you guys ended up enjoying this. I just wanted to make this simple and straight to the point about these emblems. Apparently, they're not in the game yet. Don't know when they're supposed to be coming. A lot of them did look really cool and had original designs, too. The Anchor Emblem looked nice. I don't know, a lot of them looked really good. Anyways, if you guys ended up enjoying this, consider leaving a like. And hey, maybe leave your thoughts on when these are supposed to be coming into Destiny. And why they haven't even got into Destiny. Maybe they have some kind of surprise for us where they will be introducing some new things. But yeah, I'm out of here. Until next time, though. Remember to go check out that Facebook, the gaming outlet, if you're interested in it. Peace.